What is going on everyone and welcome guys to a brand new Clash of Clans video up on the channel. That's right guys, I love you all so much and thank you guys for the support on my most recent videos. I've gained more subscribers in the past week alone than I have in the past probably three or four months and I attribute that completely to my consistent Clash of Clans upload. Now I know I'm not getting a crazy amount of views on my channel for the videos but I think that I'm going to continue doing Clash of Clans videos because it's just what I enjoy the most as of right now. So if you guys do like the videos please be sure to smash that like button before we continue and also if you're not already subscribed please consider Consider subscribing to the channel. I have daily Clash of Clans videos, daily uploads. Sometimes it's one video in a day, other times it's three or four. So if you guys want to watch more Clash of Clans videos every single day, please make sure you guys are subscribed. So guys, now hopping right into the actual video, we already started on a brand new upgrade. Really, we started on two brand new upgrades. So last night, guys, I was able to finish the cannon and the archer so this cannon right here which is a level seven and this archer tower which is a level six we completely finished upgrading both of them so what we did was we started upgrading two of our gold mines that's right guys and as you guys can see we actually have another gold mine which is going to be done in seven hours so where i live it's currently 12 20 it's going to be done by 7 20 eastern standard time which means you guys can probably be expecting a video around eight o'clock tonight eastern standard time so of course, following that guys, we do have the Archer Queen. She's going to be done in a little under 18 hours. So that of course means another video tomorrow. More stuff to upgrade. We do gotta upgrade the Grand Warden, but I really, really think I'm actually going to work on upgrading some of these walls. Guys, we still have to upgrade 436 million gold or elixir worth of walls. That's a lot of elixir and gold to spend. Let's collect all of our gold elixir and dark elixir. I also wanted to point out, you guys might notice that for this video, it's going to be, look a little different. Usually I record on my iPad Air. Today I'm actually recording on my iPhone. So the dimensions are going to look a little weird because it's different from my usual videos. But as always, I hope you guys do enjoy. And let's see what we got going on for the event. So as you guys can see, we do have a one gem hero boost right now and for the duration of this event which is going to be another three and a half days you can boost each of your heroes healing rates by four times for one hour that's pretty crazy if you guys are looking to just keep attacks going back to back heal your troops heal your king heal your queen basically do whatever you guys need to right now is the perfect time to do that for one gem each we also do have a couple other events going on. We have Hog Heaven, where you gotta win a bunch of multiplayer battles using 10 Hog Rider troops. We also have the Pocket Rocket. Now, I have not yet used the Pocket Rocket because my balloons are too low level. They're level seven. You need to have level eight balloons. And I really, really wish I just worked on upgrading my balloons, but I didn't. I was stupid, I know, guys. And if you do complete that, you guys can actually unlock the Shovel of Obstacles. You get one more for your inventory that goes right to to your town hall. But guys, I really wanna show you guys how the pocket rocket works. Let's hop right into a match and I'll show you guys what the pocket rocket can do. Alrighty guys, so we are on the playground map with the pocket rocket. Let's see what we can do with this. So what first thing we want to do is definitely take out these outer wizard towers and that right there is going to easily be able to take them both out because the moment that our wizard, or not our wizard, but our pocket rockets do die, they do actually drop down and damage everything around it. So we're then gonna try and take out this right here, follow it up by the Teslas. Guys, they are moving through so quick. Oh boy, they're doing so much damage. There we go, baby. Can we take it out? Can we do it? Taking out that Archer Tower. We have so many troops left. So here is where it's going to get a bit difficult, guys. So we gotta take out these two Inferno Towers. We're then going to, wait a second, wait a second. They're gonna take them both out. We're going to just pop a whole bunch down over here, actually, guys. Let's pop a whole bunch down. Put two free spells right down on there. Come on, boys, move in, move in. We're then going to put another one down, freeze up those two right there. Let's see, can they move through quick enough? Can they do it? They're moving, boys, they're moving. We're then going to actually put down a whole bunch more. Make them invisible here in a second. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, come on, come on. Oh no, it made the Archer Queen invisible. 
No, that is not what we wanted at all, guys. That is not what we wanted at all. Oh boy, taking it out. But yeah, guys, as you can see, that is the Pocket Rocket, a really insane troop, and I really can't wait to actually unlock it and then be able to boost up my regular balloons. Guys, we're gonna go for one more attack here, seeing if we can't do this, and what we're gonna do actually this time, we're just gonna go for it, boys. We are just gonna go for it. We're going to also have to free spell, free spell, save another free spell actually right here. We're gonna hope that they can get close enough really quick. Come on, boys, come on. There we go, they're getting there, they're getting there slowly but surely. We're then going to make them invisible here for a second. Alrighty, come on. Oh, they're being taken out so quick. Uh-oh, that eagle artillery, guys, it does so much damage. Come on, make them invisible, make them invisible. Yes, that town hall doesn't know what's coming. Oh no, it's the multi-attack inferno tower, guys. Not good enough, but... As you can see, yes, that is the Pocket Rocket, and I know, guys, this was a very, very short video. I really wanted to showcase to you guys the brand new events that are going on right now in Clash of Clans, and I wanted to see how it looks on my iPhone versus on the iPad for when I actually do upload. I hope the quality is a little better, and if you guys haven't already done your attacks with the Party Wizard, like I said, you guys only have another 15 and a half days to use them before you can't use them anymore. They might bring them back in a year. They might never bring them back. If you guys haven't used the Party Wizard, go use them right now. As always, I love you guys so much. Thank you all so much for the support on my recent videos. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Later, guys. Peace.